If you've been watching my channel for quite some time, let's say half a year, one year, two years, you know that I know lots and lots of stuff about AMD products, not only AMD products, but mostly AMD products, because of course I have more AMD products than Nvidia ones, so I have more time to test the AMD products than the Nvidia ones. I am now currently also learning a lot about the Nvidia GPUs and a lot about the Intel GPUs as well with my A770. And if you know that I know lots of stuff, I can tell you right away that what I'm going to be talking in this video is one of the strangest and most idiotic things I've ever found on an AMD GPU. And what is it, you ask? And I'll tell you right away after this sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. And well, in case you follow my channel, you know that I made an overclocking tutorial for this car that you see here. So it's the RX 7700XT, in this case the Nitro Plus. Very nice piece of tech, of course. And as I was trying to overclock this card on my computer, obviously, I noticed that when going into VRAM overclocking, VRAM overclocking, I stated once again, the GPU, the 7700XT, wouldn't even overclock a single megahertz. One. As soon as I went to overclock 1 MHz, it would automatically give me a black screen. Right out of the blue. I could do whatever I wanted to and it wouldn't work. Then I tried some games in, um, in windowed full screen mode. And as I was trying, not windowed, borderless, yes, in borderless full screen mode. And the same happened. But as soon as I tested in windowed mode, somehow, I could overclock this GPU's VRAM to 2500 MHz, while previously I couldn't go 1 MHz above the 2250 MHz. <laughs> so basically when running full screen, the VRAM wouldn't overclock. As soon as I went into a windowed mode, the VRAM would overclock. So I started doing some more tests and I actually found an interesting thing. The first thing that I found was to reduce the refresh rate of my monitor. As soon as I went down to 60 Hz, once again, I went from 160 Hz to 60 Hz on the monitor, on the refresh rate, and the VRAM suddenly overclocked to 2500 MHz. And I, see, and I can tell you, 2500 MHz, stable. I repeat once again, stable. I could be pushing 200, 300, 400 or even 1000 FPS on the GPU, it would not crash for a single second. It would not have any stutters whatsoever. The GPU VRAM over the VRAM overclocking, sorry, would be stable as hell. But as soon as I started increasing the refresh rate once again, I increased to 75 Hz, it would still be stable. I increased to 100 Hz and I started seeing some instability with the same overclock in the same games in the same exact scenario. And as soon as I went to anything over 100 Hz on the refresh rate of my monitor, it would immediately, and I repeat, immediately give me a black screen once again. Not even one megahertz would do it. So I thought to myself, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong. It is almost impossible that a, a card as binned as the Nitro Plus version wouldn't overclock one megahertz alone uh, on the VRAM. It's almost impossible. And still, yeah, it just won't go there as soon as I increase over 100 hertz refresh rate. So I thought to myself, maybe it is kind of software locked, or maybe the VRAM just runs way easier since it doesn't have to refresh the, um, the, the monitor as much as with 160 Hz. Obviously, in this case, it's less than half. Uh, <laughs> so it, it's a lot of difference, definitely. So I thought it could be that. But then uh, the VRAM instabilities came once again, but now differently. Now with the RX 6950 XT. So the RX 6950 XT was completely stable on that computer, that one there, which is my main computer, completely stable there, not a single crash whatsoever. But as soon as I went and put that same 6950 XT that was perfectly stable there, I even tested there at 4K with no issues whatsoever, as soon as I put that card there on a, 400, on a 4K 160Hz monitor, well, things started happening again. And I did that because my brother was retesting the 40 games on the RX 6950 XT to see if that card could still run 4K in 2023, almost 2024, 
and it seems that the overclocking stability that I have on this monitor wouldn't go for that monitor as well. As soon as we went in some other games, some devious games like CS2, Counter-Strike 2, in some other games like, um, well, I don't really remember the games exactly, but I remember that there were two or three games where the overclocking stability on the VRAM just wouldn't simply go. It, it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work properly. So I tried several settings and I found once again that the culprit was indeed the VRAM overclocking and somehow the VRAM overclocking was stable on this monitor that was also 160Hz refresh rate and that monitor was also 160Hz refresh rate. So the refresh rate wasn't the issue alone, but it seems something maybe due to the resolution because this one is 1440p ultra wide and that one is 4K. And still the VRAM that was stable here was not stable there. I tried my 7900 XTX on that same computer and it was flawlessly working with the same overclocking settings. The same for the 6750 XT. The same for many other cards that I tested there, for example even recently uh, I tested the 3070 I believe and I tested some other cards and things were running smoothly. I'm perfectly sure that if I go there and decrease the refresh rate from 160 to 60 Hz I will have no more stability issues. And that's the thing that I never found that could actually actually, well, that could actually happen in any scenario because if the GPU is stable, it's stable. If it doesn't crash, it doesn't crash. I tested that 1080p, 1440p, 1440p ultra wide, 4K, nothing crashed, completely stable. As soon as I went there to some other games, bam, completely crashed. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's almost incomprehensible, but it does happen, or in this case, it did happen to me. I haven't changed the cable, and it also, as I changed the cable to a 16K cable that I bought, a really expensive cable, it worked better somehow, it worked better, uh, but it still wasn't as stable as with my main computer, and I can't really understand why. If you know what's the issue, leave a comment in the comment section, and because basically this was the video, just me telling you that this is the most and the oddest, definitely the oddest, th the, oddest <laughs> the oddest thing that I've ever experienced on an AMD GPU. And I'm telling you this because this didn't happen not a single time with, uh, with an NVIDIA GPU, but I didn't test enough NVIDIA GPUs to know that. So it might be a thing that happens on both brands, but at least uh, these were the only cards actually that gave me this issue of the VRAM overclocking stability being different depending on the monitor, which is completely... Well, I, I don't really know what to say. Definitely a thing that I wouldn't expect seeing ever in my life. But, well, it's somehow happening. If you know what it is, once again, leave a comment in the comment section. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Sorry for not bringing that much information as usual, but I just wanted to share my experience and tell you what actually happened because this was a, uh, well, for me, this would be a no-brainer and I never thought this could happen, but if you're having some issues with VRAM overclocking, well, uh, the monitor, the cable, maybe that can be one of the, the factors that is actually restraining your GPU VRAM overclocking. Um, that, that actually might be it, as, as I told you before, the cable, getting a better cable did, did kind of help, I, I'm not saying it fixed it, but it did kind of help, um, and in different computers it would just work differently, in one of them it was stable, in another one, in another monitor it wasn't, it, it is what it is. Sorry for, once again, for not bringing that much information, I just wanted to share my experience because you might be having these issues and my experience with these issues might actually help you somehow understanding or maybe fixing your problems and that's why I made this video. Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.